Perhaps the most important player in the NBA, Joel Embiid, in return to this past Tuesday and the Sixers won at home against Oklahoma City, who currently at that point was the number one seed in the West. Big win for the Sixers. Can they keep it going tonight in Miami? I'm going to give you some information on this game and the best way to play it, in my opinion, to make some money tonight on Thursday in the NBA. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, back here on Wager Talk TV, and I am breaking down your 7.30 Eastern game between the Heat and 76ers. Now, there are five games on the board tonight. I've got strong best bets in two of the other games for my personal clients, so check those out right now at wagertalk.com. But there are three other games. I will be back also on the NBA tip-off show at 4 o'clock Eastern live here, taking interactive questions on all five games. You can watch the replay here as well on Wager Talk TV. So just five games tonight, but we've got a lot of information for you. I've got two best bets on two of them. I'm going to break down this Sixers Heat game in depth here for you in this free video. First of all, Embiid is listed as questionable. He played, had 24 points in his return after being off for several months on Tuesday. They won that game. Actually closed as high as a three-point favorite. They were initially a five-and-a-half-point dog on Tuesday morning, and the injury report said Embiid out. In fact, I did a wager talk today segment on Tuesday talking about how when Embiid returns, he could be a fade. The team might struggle a bit. Didn't look like he was playing that night. The line goes from plus five and a half to minus three, an eight and a half point swing. That's how important he is. But I think maybe the regression happens here in this game. He was six for 14 from the field where he did his damage, 12 for 12 from the free throw line. But now on the road against a Miami Heat team who should be pretty focused. Jimmy Butler is listed as, as probable. He is expected to play tonight. He did not play in the matchup last month. And with the Sixers, won the game outright as a three-point um, favorite at home. And keep in mind, in that game, Maxi played for Philly. Embiid, of course, was still out, but Maxi had 30 points. Uh, he is questionable tonight, did not play in that game on Tuesday. He also did not play last Sunday against the Raptors. So not sure Maxi's going to be in the lineup tonight. I would say probably not. Embiid might play again, but I would have a feeling he could be limited after his return in the last game. And it was also a big win at home against OKC. Now on the road against a playoff caliber Heat team who will have their best player in the lineup with Butler being listed as probable. I prefer to have the Heat in this game minus the two points. So take a look at Miami minus two. Keep an eye on that injury report. It's going to probably be jumping around here as we get closer to tip-off. And be sure to check the NBA tip-off show at 4 Eastern Live and archived here on the channel for latest updated information as we head into the five games tonight on Thursday. But once again, I like Miami minus two. If you're going to play it, I would lay it with a short home favorite Heat with revenge with Butler against the Sixers team that might regress a bit after that big win on Tuesday night. Hey, if you're finding this information useful, thumbs up, like, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on this game. What about Philly going forward? I do think they're a play on team if Embiid and Maxi are healthy, but I'd be very cautious with them over the next week or so as we finish out the regular season. I think it's going to be kind of a feeling out process for both those guys as they want to keep them healthy. They're pretty much locked into that play-in round uh, as the eight seed. They're going to have to probably play in the uh, the first four-in round and get a win. So I also think that's a reason why they might not stress their superstars too much, including tonight in Miami. But comment below. Let me know your thoughts. I read all the comments. I reply back. Who else do you like tonight in the NBA? Throw in some player props as well. Don't forget, hit subscribe and hit the bell as well for instant alerts when my videos go live each day. I've got an NIT finals preview for tonight between Indiana State and Seton Hall for Thursday. Also, standalone individual previews for both NCAA Final Four matchups Saturday. NC State, Purdue, Alabama, UConn, all of that's available for free right here with free selections in all three videos for College Hoops here on Wager Talk TV. If you want my personal best bet for this Saturday Final Four, it's ready right now on my page for my clients. And once again, I've got two strong NBA best bets in other games tonight, so you can make a three-for-one special, get the NBA and the College Hoops. Single games are 25 or get all three for just 29 if you're not on board already for the NBA season, you really should get on board. I was 29 and 17 in the playoffs last year. All NBA best bets last year was 103 and 63, 40 net games above 500. And I'm off to a great run this year in the NBA. Number one ranked NBA sides, 55 and 35 for this entire season. And number one all time in the history of wagertalk.com. So I know my NBA, the best bets are strong, especially with the playoffs approaching. Why not get the rest of the NBA season for less than $3 a day with promo code NBA219? That's NBA219. NBA219 gets you the rest of the season the next three months for just $219. That's less than $3 a day for NBA, every NBA best bet from number one ranked, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. NBA219 gets it done. Choose the rest of the season package. It was $280, but in, in our NBA219 at checkout, you get it for just $219. That's less than $3 a day for the rest of the season. Steve Merrill wagertalk.com.
Also post free plays daily. I've got a free afternoon baseball play for Thursday. Also a Final Four selection for free on my page as well. So check out those free plays. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Follow me on Twitter and X, at Steve Merrill. Two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on Twitter X. And don't forget also I post free plays throughout the week on Instagram. Who knew? Follow me on IG as well. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for more great baseball and basketball content coming up next.